I am very excited today. I'm here with Mama Echo, and guess what? We're gonna get our last two letters of the alphabet. We've been working so hard, boys and girls, and there's only two cards left. One of them is a letter that I think almost everybody knows very well. You ready? Z, zebra, z. Your turn. Z, zebra, z. When I show that letter Z, most children know it. And when I show just a picture of a zebra, most children will say that starts with Z. We're going to learn to write it today. Do you see? that it has all straight lines, but one of them is a slide. I kind of like making those, it's fun. Now the other letter is probably the one that the least children know, especially the lower case. We don't see it very often. And I'm gonna cover this next part because see this here, this is capital Q and this is lowercase Q. And you're gonna see lowercase q look a lot of different ways, but that's how we're writing it. Now on the card, what did they put next to it? They put the u next to it. That's because in almost every word that starts with q, it needs u. Sometimes they say it's a scaredy cat letter. Isn't that funny? They say that it doesn't like to be alone, so U is the helper that goes with it. But when Q and U are together, it says Q. Lowercase Q and U are together, it says Q. You ready? Come on, Mama Echo. Ready? I'm going to say Q U because that's when it's together. Ready? Q U, Queen, Q. Q, U, Queen, Qua. Very good. It's a hard one. And this little Q, it's kind of kind of silly. If you cover up that curve, it almost looks like the letter 9, doesn't it? Or a backwards P. Or if you turn it over, it looks like a D. Those letters are tricky. So our Q has the curve on it. All right, well, let's move on with the writing because I know you can do this and I just want to make sure that we're practicing it the right way. So I have my board set up. And as you can see, skyline, plain line, grass line, worm line. So here we go. Ready? Oh, where is baby Echo? Baby Echo helps you. Repeat with me. Here we go. Oh, I can take my marker off. Sorry. Z is a plain line slide letter. You say it. Z is a plain line slide letter. But it doesn't slide right away. But it doesn't slide right away. Where does it start? Good. Before it slides, Z goes on the plain line. Before it starts, Z goes on the plain line. Ready? Point to the plain line. Plain line. Go back on the plain line. Oops, my marker, hold on. Go back on the plain line. Back on the plain line. Slide back to the grass line. Back to, oops, slide back to the grass line. Then go on the grass line. Then go on the grass line. Z, zebra, z. My Z isn't showing up very well. There it is. So let's try it one more time. Z is a plain line slide letter, but it doesn't slide right away. Z is a plain line slide letter, but it doesn't slide right away. Before it slides, the Z goes on the plain line. Before it slides, the Z goes on the plain line. 
point to the plane line. Point to the plane line. Go on the plane line. Go on the plane line. Slide back to the grass line. Slide back to the grass line. Then go on the grass line. Then go on the grass line. Z, zebra, z. Z, zebra, z. Very good. I think we've got that. Go on the plane line. Slide down to the grass line. Go on the grass line. We've got that. Okay. Well, let's try Q. Now, I know I just told you all about Q, U. Well, you know how to make the U. We're just going to work on lowercase Q. So here we go. Q is a plain line loud. I'm sorry. Q is a plain line round letter. It starts on the plain line. It's on the plain line. Remember that Q is the buddy letter. So in the end, it wants to point up to its buddy U. So we'll see how that works. Ready? Point to the plane line. Trace back and go down to the grass line. Around. Trace back and go down to the grass line. Around. And back to the plane line. You got it. I don't know why it says trace. Okay. Trace back down to the worm line. Down to the worm line and point up to his buddy. Point up to his buddy. Q, queen, qua. Boy, that was hard for me. I was confused. So let's do it again. Q is a plain line round letter. Q is a plain line round letter. Point to the plain line. Go back on the plain line and around. Back on the plane line and around, up to the plane line, up to the plane line. Trace down, see how it looks like an A? Trace down to the worm line, whoops, and point up to his buddy, point up to his buddy. Q, queen, qua. You know, I like the point up to his buddy part because did you notice Miss Red was going to curve this way? What would have happened? Look, well, nothing bad would have happened, but if I had curved it this way, is it still a Q? Now it's a G. Ooh, that's why we have to be careful. We have to point this way to the buddy, because the buddy letter with the U is always behind it. Q is a plain line round letter. Trace back on the plain line around to the grass line and up to the plane line. Trace down to the grass line and curve up to point to the buddy. Q, queen, qua. Very nice, boys and girls. That's a hard one. I think you should practice it a little extra. And you know what? If you want to practice your U next to it, that's pretty good too. These are our last two letters. Yay! Because once we know all our letters, reading will be much easier. And you guys are already starting to read. Did you notice you were starting to read? Okay, so your moms and dads have this nice little sheet so they can help you to remember the writing path, to remember what to think about. I've given you this Z. If you want to practice it right on here, you can. Or you can use your whiteboard to practice your letters. Okay. And Q. They put Q and U there, but if you just want to practice a Q on this side, that would be fine. Or on your whiteboard, because it is tricky. Then it says, there's a new game. It's a letter find. Okay? It says, um... This is for moms and dads to help you with. I forgot that part. Um, 
they're going to say the name of a letter, okay? I might even just like cover up this part, moms and dads, and show them just the one part. And it says, um, have your child point to it. So if you say K, you want them to point to it. If you say O, have them point to it. That's all, just point to it. It's great practice. And um, first of all, if it's, if it's too easy, start in alphabetical order so they can go across. But I think our class is ready to mix them up, okay? Now there's another set down here. As you can see, this is a traditional A, this is the print A. So you can use whichever ones you would like. But this is a great sheet because if you can say them randomly and they can find them, then we know we, that we've got it. Down here, another good way to do it, parents, is to just cover up. See how I'm covering? And have your child read across. H, Z, A, V, T. If they can do this by themselves, then you know they've got the lowercase letters figured out. So these sheets are for parents to help with. I hope it goes well. And remember, it's not just for this week. Keep them around. Thanks, boys and girls.